There comes a time when all hope is lost. Hey guys, we're here with the amazing Emmanuel Ray, and he's going to tell us a bit about fashion for 2010. How's it going? How are you? Oh, I'm wonderful. I just I love coming to shows like this because you know it's a lot of free drink and free food. Always good. <laughs> and of course, you know, bikini clad models, and you're gonna have you know lots of pretty boys and girls wearing very little. So uh, that's why I'm in this business. <laughs> definitely, definitely. So where do you see 2010 fashion going? Um, I think there's a lot of uh, trends coming in from the past. You know. A lot of uh, looks from the bygone era, right. and I think the whole burlesque, uh, you know, red lips, kind of fishnets, and all that—it's it's here to stay. I think it's going to be there for a long time. The ruffles—I've been seeing a lot of ruffles uh, right. on the red carpet. Lots of ruffles, lots of nude colors. You know, salmon pink and right. you know, coral. Uh, it's a new, new, new colors: beige, a little bit of sequins here and there. Right. A lot of blings are coming back as well. I think the same goes for men's fashion. Men's yeah. fashion is becoming a bit more flamboyant, and a bit of ruffled shirts, you yeah. know, frills. I'm wearing Nico Di Dona, by the way. I love what you're wearing. By the moment. I, I love what you're wearing, it's um, you. pretty amazing. Obviously Lady Gaga is a massive character out there. Now she just was on the MTV um, Music Video Awards and she was actually wearing um, a me outfit. Did yeah. you see that and what do you think of that? What was your uh, personal interpretation of that? I think uh, anything can be justified when it comes to art and fashion. Plus she's a performer and when, once you're a performer I think you could wear anything. I mean I, I could even wear a corpse around myself, you know. <laughs> I'll gladly do that. <laughs> or even human skin, you know, if I, had to, if I have to I'll do it. So, Emmanuel, now obviously the great thing is bigger women are coming back into fashion. Oh, fantastic. And um, obviously you love it, but uh, yes. what are your thoughts? Do you think it's really going to work with the plus size models? I definitely think it'll work because you know, it's the hands of the fashion houses, the runways. See, uh, you can always have uh, fuller figured women uh, on photo shoots, on commercial modeling, but when it comes to runway, it's always the designers who make the decision. The designers, the stylists, you know, I think they should change. And the plus size, curvy women, you know, uh, voluptuous women, those who are not exactly size zero. I, I mean, when they walk, there is a certain bounce, there's a certain personality there, you know? It's there's more sex, cushion yeah. for the push -up, Yeah, there's right? more cushion for the push -up. And it's nice to see a woman, you know, pour herself curves into something. It's, it's kind of very sexy. And you're um, actually a human rights uh, activist. Yes. Do you want to just give us a little information on that? Well, um, I started human rights when I was in Sri Lanka, um, when I was campaigning for, uh, you know, against the war, the peace, uh, poor people being suppressed, uh, civilians being killed. Um, and then when I was in Dubai, I started a campaign for uh, the fair treatment and proper wages and proper living conditions of uh, expat workers in manual labor um, and at the moment I'm uh, working on a campaign about uh, like to tackle homophobic crime unfortunately homophobic crime is on the rise and um, I recently did an interview for a mid the first Middle Eastern gay magazine gay lifestyle magazine and uh, it's a controversial interview where we're talking about um, honor killings you know? yeah honor killings homophobic crime um, gay lesbian bisexual transgender people being um, hanged in public those as young as 14 15 years old um, so um, I'm trying to hit that campaign and get it off the ground. So we're talking to the Metropolitan Police and the Mayor's Office. No matter how wonderful the cause is, it's always good, the good looks that you know gets the, the, the interest of the media. I'm sorry to say that, but that's the truth. But Stephen's <laughs> too young to die. Well, he doesn't have to die. I mean, he can, can just, I, can, I can kind of cuddle him a bit and you know keep him on in my man bag. <laughs> I love Steven? you, man. Oh, thank you, sweetie. I love me too. I mean. <laughs> <laughs>